Dangerous conditions at MBTA stations across the area. Officials will take a closer look at those issues today. Nick Giovanni is live in Boston with more for us. Nick. Chris, Kate, we do know the board is meeting later today. The Globe reports they're going to be looking at the state of the tea, which likely is not going to be painting a pretty picture when you look at some of the issues right here. The aquarium tea stop, for one, elevators out of service, escalators out of service here on the board is what it says here. Just some of what we're seeing across the area. Transportation Secretary Stephanie Pollock told the Globe, in fact, quote, it didn't take 15 or 20 or 30 years to let the system get as bad as it is, and it can't be fixed overnight. But according to the Globe, they have started a thorough review process for the Federal Transit Agency and found more than half of the T's 378 stations and parking facilities, get this, scored a two or less out of five in those reviews, many dealing with problems like crumbling concrete or water leaks. The T says it does have a 15-year plan in place to upgrade all properties and equipment, but some officials argue investing in new vehicles and improving tracks, for one, would and should be a higher priority. We're live at the Aquarium T-Stop. Uh, Nick Giovanni, WBZ This Morning.